is downright proud to salute great organizations in town. Jackie, we have a couple of people representing something pretty neat that's happening just a little west of where we are. I don't think they mind the cold because quilting is a big part <laughs> of the theme this year. And we're talking about the 47th annual uh, Covered Bridge Festival, which is happening this weekend. We do have Heather Riley and Molly Klaus on with us. So thank you guys so much for being here. 47 years. Yes, yes a long time for this we're festival. We're very proud. Very proud. You should be. And I'm sure you're already planning for the 50th. Uh, but let's talk about what's <laughs> happening. Let's talk about what's let's happening. Things first. Let's talk about what's happening this weekend first. And you do have a, a, a wonderful theme, Quilted Gems. What exactly does that mean? Well, we feel like our community is kind of like a, a quilt, you know, many different styles and colors uh, like you would see on a quilt with different shapes and squares and themes. And that's very much Madison County because we're such an incredible tie to history and have a touch of Hollywood there, too. So we feel like uh, with the what's happening in Winterset, too, in terms of a new quilt museum and focus on quilting, which is, you know, kind of not always just for the, the, the genre you would think. A lot of younger folks are into quilting. We felt like this was a good year to feature quilts. So that's what we did. That well, is beautiful. It, it is a beautiful artistry when you think of quilts. And I love it when you look at our great state up in a plane. It does kind of look like a patchwork. It does. Uh, of yes. a quilt. So yes. wonderful tie good, in there. Good co correlation. Okay, good. <laughs> so if no somebody has never been to this wonderful festival, what are they going to experience? You can have a variety of experience by so many organizations. Right away, you mentioned looking from above. This year, for the first time, you could have a plane ride over Hogback Bridge with the entire community and festival to see what's going on and enjoy the fall landscape of Madison County. Also, our wonderful chamber board encouraged to do more and more for bridges to tell the story of our covered bridges, and we're adding activities. Uh, children, learn the, excuse me, shape of the triangle what you need to build a good bridge is a triangle and it becomes a series of triangles a trussle bridge they're going to be building them there you go small bridges with a lesson in mind and history with it and build a covered bridge and then we also have yarn dolls then we go into spinning uh, and uh, different crafts of all kinds and what am I, I'm leaving out lots. We have a lot of new things this year. There, you, you know, the festival's kind of known for the car show and our parade, oh. a lot of things people really enjoy seeing. But this year in particular, we have a lot of new, exciting hot activities going on. Yes, we're doing tethered hot air balloon oh, rides wow. too. Okay, so not only can you see a view from an airplane, yes. you can go up and just Thank get a, a, a top floor look too. Thank you. Right, yeah. right, it's not complete blast off, but you can still <laughs> kind of get a, get a taste of what it would be like to soar above Madison County in a hot air balloon. Yeah, there's so. part of the parade here. Uh, again, you guys have a huge huge parade and the, the car show uh, is talked about all over the, the country. The car show is fantastic. Yeah, yeah hundreds They've of done cars. specials on TV about your car show. It, it's amazing. The Central Iowa Auto Club does a terrific job getting all those cars out there lined up and, and it, that you could take all day and just look at the cars and that's on Sunday. That's the and our, the parade is on Sunday as well. Yes, Sunday afternoon. Sunday Lot to see and experience there. Two o'clock. Okay. Well, when do the festivities officially kick off for the entire festival? Well, each day is nine to five. So okay. Saturday and Sunday, nine o'clock is when the gates will officially mm -hmm. open, and and you can come to the festival grounds and experience entertainment on two stages. Mm -hmm. We have it just full of local and area musicians and entertainers. Lots of things going on there, and then out in the county too, there are a lot of things going on. So you can go out to the historical complex and enjoy a lot of things there. We have Cover Bridge tours. So the Rotary Club will load you up onto a bus and show you uh, throughout the county, let you look at four different cover bridges. It's just a lot to mm. see and do. Now the Cover Bridge Festival has been going on for 47 years, and uh, did you get a shot in the arm of popularity when <laughs> when, when Bridges, the book and movie came out? Oh, and most, the musical? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, most, most definitely. definitely. I mean, you know, that in the 90s, I think when that was at the height of popularity in terms of the novel, and then the movie came along, you know, I don't think it was rare for the Cover Bridge Festival to see 80,000 visitors. Now we don't host. 80,000 anymore, but we still host oh, between 20 and 30,000. What was 000. the origin of the first Covered Bridge Festival 47 years ago? What was the, the attraction there? Was I it a John Wayne attraction? Or? No, I no? think it was a focus on our heritage mm -hmm. and our history, and there were a lot of demonstrators at that time. There were a lot of wood carvers in particular. Uh, we have found those are a little harder to attract now. That's our, that's our struggle every year is to make sure that our festival is as full as can be of demonstrators, because we know that that's what the locals want to see. That's what they remember from the very 
very first Cover Bridge Festival. The craft. The craft, right. Yeah. And so the focus does continue to be on that. And the good news is this year we have some terrific demonstrators. Some we wonderful a, basket makers. Right. We have a, a chainsaw wood carver right. coming. We have Those some metal fabricators. Yeah. So there are demonstrators there. I, what the, our festival do, may not look exactly like it did in 1970, but the spirit is still there. And what does look like it did in 1970? <laughs> you know, none of us. But you're keeping a lot of the heritage and the history uh -huh. involved with it as well, as well as the wonderful beauty that people still enjoy to this day. But you're keeping the quilt theme kind of going through the entire weekend yes. as well, yes. uh, with the museum, a shop, mm -hmm. and people mm -hmm. can get involved as well. Correct? Right, and that's very nostalgic too. People want to understand what their grandma's quilt represents. What do all those squares mean? And we've got some workshops going on Saturday and Sunday about quilting that we're very excited about. So it's going to be a great weekend to come down. There's a lot to see and do. Oh, now, meet me the, at the just, bridge. Excuse me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Meet me, please come to meet me at the bridge uh, on Saturday evening. And it's out at our park shelter near the Cutler Donahue Bridge. So I think that's another every way we can experience the bridges and people will continue to appreciate them. Now, your area is also still one of the more popular places to get married. Oh, uh, yes. over on the bridge. Are there going to be yes. people there to talk about that as well? You know, you can, uh, that's, uh, that's a good question. I don't know if we have any weddings necessarily going on at Cover <laughs> They're not going possibly. on, but information about those. Oh, yes, yeah. and we okay. could help that in our office, too. Right. Um, but, you know, they're, they're very romantic, and it just is kind of a throwback to when you would place a love note for your honey on the inside of the covered bridge, and, and people like that, that easy nostalgia, and that happens all the time where people get engaged or get married. We have a lot of lovely photographs taken from all of those covered bridges. Well, let's remind everybody the uh, specific dates and times so we know exactly okay. when we need to head to the 47th Annual Covered Bridges Festival. Okay, it's Saturday and Sunday, October 8th and 9th from 9 to 5 p.m. daily. Mm -hmm. Activities going on all day Saturday, even into the evening, as Molly said. But it's going to be a wonderful weekend, and we hope everyone comes to help us celebrate our Covered Bridges. Wonderful. I and love thank that you poster. for the weather. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> we'll pass that along to Sam Schreier. You saw Madison <laughs> County is the website if you'd like more specific details, because there was a lot going There's on. A lot going on. Wonderful. Perfect. Well, thank you, ladies, for coming over. Yes, Appreciate thank you so for much. having thank us. Thank you, thank you very much. It. Downright cool. proud to salute a great local organization and festival you do not want to miss this weekend. All right, it's 748 right now, and we will be right back. You are watching CW Iowa Live in West Des Moines. Sound your foghorn, definitely.